I just had a bit new to venue and missing somebody with a, a Toyota Hilux and a, a cattle trailer. I don't know. It didn't. I mean, it didn't get the impression it was full, but I didn't see him till the last minute. My, my uh, th this thing has it has ABS, and I said I got a symbol at the side road. It was pump, 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 pump like the dope. Anyway, seems to be all right. Well, I wasn't going all that fast, but he was going too fast for the trailer, really, even if it was empty. We've just had a skip delivered. Christian was uh, mucking out his shed yesterday, and uh, it soon became apparent there was at least half a skip full of crap. Uh, He had, I guess, uh, some, a lot of um, stuff with like insulation on the back of it. I don't even know what it is exactly, which uh, left over from a job. And it's quite bulky, so that, that's going to take up a fair bit of room. It's not really, but it, I mean, you could, you could always imagine eventually you might use it for something else. But uh, it's quite just too much stuff to be storing. I mean, it's only small pieces. I do actually almost uh, agree with Chucky now. So I'm going to one for holding stuff to a point, but if it's in the situation where you can't just keep moving it to go, you can't put other stuff in because you've got this other this other crap that you did probably never going to use at the back of the shed. Eventually, it needs to go. So I'm just off to BAT. I need. Um, some sheep pellets really, I've used all, I had some uh, ewe and lamb and I'm just really trying to get the lambs starting to eat and they are eating now so I get some lamb finisher and probably some more ewe and, ewe or ewe and lamb or something but the, the yows are getting a few pellets just to keep them coming up and I also uh, need some wormer that does fluke for the yows. I have, that uh, was last year, the year before, they encouraged me to get this specialised fluke type dredge, which was all very well, but uh, the withdrawal on it was 56 days, and uh, what I didn't use, I've ended up having to chuck out because uh, you can't use it for lambs or out. It, but it's not even a proper worm anyway, it only does fluke, so I'm not getting that again. The, 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 wor the wor worm I'm on at the moment is uh, Oromec for lambs, and that doesn't do fluke. So my sort of default is Ragben SC, which uh, obviously you can't only use that indefinitely. But I've had a couple of years with the Oromec instead, so I think I might go back on I'll get some of that today anyway. Because uh, at a higher, like a double dose rate, <coughs> that's... Uh, works for fluke as well and it's a, a relatively inexpensive one and oh my dear Oromec isn't dear because uh, it's about uh, a month until tupping time so really the yows would definitely benefit from being uh, fluke dosed and well the worm as well I had a, a yow in in the suppose good one, and she was quite fit otherwise. But she went really funny for one day. Her ears were down. She wasn't eating. I thought well, she could be dead by the end of the day. But I nipped back over and gave her a fluke dose of uh, well, actually, to be fair, almost out of date. Valves and I say it might be out of date. But uh, whether that was what picked her up, or I also gave her antibiotic and uh, anti-inflammatory <coughs> and uh, the next day she was a bit better and the second day I thought well, I'll give her another antibiotic jab and I couldn't catch her so she's not improved because the first day she just stood there and let me walk up to her and stick a needle in 
Uh, she liked her death's daughter, but uh, I did wonder if she'd just eaten something disagreed with her, to be honest. I don't quite know what. Because she had, she was a little bit sort of sloppy around her rear end. It wasn't terrible, but not good. A bit like, not just uh, like scoury, but like runny black water coming out. Well, it's, it's just a bit like she'd eaten something that uh, was a toxic. The only thing that there might be over there is foxgloves, particularly. I suppose there are other things if they were keen enough. It's getting a bit quieter now anyway, so it's, it's very much an autumnal feeling uh, day. With really good visibility actually since it was raining earlier on. I've got my cows to go down to the, the last field we haven't had yet that they're going to have and uh, they thought it was their birthday but there isn't really that much grass in there it might do them about three days they'll no doubt keep going in longer than that but well, after, even after tomorrow I think they won't be that keen they'll be coming out by midday but they are funny they get a new field it's that absolute stampede you think we're starving to be fair, the rest of the grass is about gone. There's, there's like grass I don't really want to eat. Sheep will be aiming rather straight because most sheep will be very laid back about. I can't see the mark on them, might be barrack gloves. It's really good visibility today. When I come back, I have my big camera with me. I might just stop and do a few clip cliplets. There seems to be some like greasy streaky marks on the outside of this windscreen. I think it possibly back from when I I used a, a glass cleaning product on it about a month ago. Yeah, the business is from that. Coming down into Utley Earl, 
there's uh, a lot of water streaming across the road. It's coming from where you can access fields of Barmore. We used to actually have them back in the 60s to cut hay from. At least a couple of years I remember us having them. Because, uh, anyway, where that track is, water is pouring out. It's not really coming down the track though, it's just at the end of the track, so I'm assuming that there's some sort of uh, drain blocked there. Anyway, I reported it on the 17th of September, and I, I see firstly nothing has been done, although they acknowledge receipt of it. And uh, somebody else has reported it just this morning with with photos, so it's still doing it. Well, I noticed it was doing it on uh, Friday, I think. on a wet day, I hardly notice it, but uh, it's pouring out pretty bad. Yeah, even on the drier day, so as we get into October, any day now there'll be a, a bit of a ground frost or an air frost, it'll be a sheet of ice, because it's a right frost all over down here. It's one of the, one of the not the worst, but what among the ones that sometimes are coldest in North Yorkshire, down through here. So, and I said, cheekily, I said, this needs attention as soon as possible. This does not mean putting out a sign saying it might be icy. Just here, look. It's not so. It's not that obvious when it's uh, been rainy. But it runs across the road here down this side. I assume it does go down a drain about oh there. You can actually see water in it, but I mean it's been raining anyway so but uh, it's a real enough problem. And I'm not saying I've never seen it before because I've never noticed it before particularly. It's into building season again. There are times like when when it's uh, so busy, this place that you can't hardly get in. You can't find a place to park, and especially if you happen to have the uh, happen to have the trailer on.
think they've uh, just installed a uh, twenty zone through here. Not it makes any difference, but how do you do twenty mile an hour up here anyway? You don't. Well, you might do at midnight. What were they arming that anyway? To be honest, you, you, the only place you might go a bit faster 20 is here at the bottom to get past all the parked cars before something else comes down. Anyway, apparently, rather bizarrely, they, they can't, uh, can't use speed cameras at speeds below 30 because they can't be calibrated at that rate or something like that. So they say. 